Okay, in the previous video, we've been splitting the different layers and reassemble them to recreate the beauty layer. Now, let's connect that CG breakdown to our main tree. So we'll make a little bit of space here. I don't need my layer contact sheet anymore. I will delete it. I don't need this thing neither. And I will just make a little bit of space here. Okay, perfect. And now I will connect the merge of my main tree. And instead of having it connected to the ring node, I will connect it at the end of the ship tree here. I'm using the word tree. That's, that's the word that we use usually for like a group of nodes. All right. So now this is connected here at the output of my merge nine. And I will connect my viewer here and Ta-da! Here is the result, and it doesn't look good. What's going on? Well, we've been focusing of recreating the beauty, and we've been focusing of recreating the same thing in the RGBA channel, in the color channel. But we didn't pay attention to the alpha channel. And if I connect my viewer here, and I come here to view my alpha channel, as you may remember from the previous clips where I was explaining that the alpha channel drive the transparency of your image. We have here a very simple alpha channel. Here is the ship, solid, opaque, and everything else is transparent. Now, if I come at the end of my tree here and I connect my viewer as well, we can see that we are still viewing the alpha channel, but this doesn't look like the alpha channel we originally have in the beauty. And so it's a problem. It means that, for example, this thing is going to be opaque, but all those shades of gray here is going to be more or less transparent. And this is not what we want. So it's another good thing to know. It's important when doing a CG breakdown to check as well that our alpha channel is correct. And what I like to do when doing a simple CG breakdown like that is to simply re-inject the alpha of my ring node at the end of my CG breakdown. Okay, very simple. Follow me. For that, I will need a copy node. And that copy node can be found in the channel menu here and copy. And I will connect the A input to my ring node here and the B input to the pipe right after my last merge node. And what this node is simply doing? Well, it will take the alpha channel of the A input and inject it to the B input. We are replacing the alpha channel here with that copy node. We can do a bunch of other stuff, but I don't want to make it too complicated for now. All right, let's see. Voila. If I disable that node, we get that weird alpha channel coming out of those things here. But if I enable it, we do have exactly the same alpha channel as our read nodes. And now if we have a look at our merge tool and toggle back to the RGB using the A key of your keyboard, we can see that the result is now correct. Great. All right. I just like to organize a little bit my nodes. So I will just uh, drag and drop a little bit. So there's something that's very useful to organize node is that when you hold down the control key on PC or Linux or the command key on Mac, you will have those little yellow dots appearing on your lines on your connections. Well, if I click on one of those yellow dots, I will create a physical dot that doesn't affect at all my link, but I can use them to organize a little bit my comp. So for example, I will do that here and I will create another dot holding down the control key and I will create that guy like that, that. And what I can do as well is using those dots as well to make it a little bit more square. You may think that I'm a maniac of the organization, but trust me, this is very, very, very important. And I can't stress you enough about that. This is 
a thing that will change your world. If you work in the studio, you need to keep your comb very clean for yourself because when uh, you have a lot of notes, for now we have nothing, so it's fine, but when you have a lot of notes, it's easy to get lost. But as well for your colleagues, because sometimes you will have to adjust the comp of one of your colleague and or one other person will open your comp to be able to tweak things or, or see what did you do. So it's important to keep everything clean and organized. All right, this is not too bad for now. Let's move on to the next clip to do a little bit of color correction. See you there.